don't worry, that's the last slide you'll see. Let's do some straight database talk, no slides. I was told by support, oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting myself into trouble here. I was told by support that I need to purge my queue table, but there are 100,000 plus messages. And when I'm on the scripts and support, the script takes forever and starts causing issues at the DB level. Is there a way to purge all of them at once? If so, will it cause any issues? Okay, so what we've got here is we've got 100,000 messages that need to be purged and support have given our attendee here a script that actually says, here's how you can purge a single message. And the way we have in the uh, PL SQL routines to purge messages, you can specify a criteria. That purge condition uh, as specified here is deleting a single message, which means if I need to delete 100,000 messages, I need to call that routine 100,000 times. That's gonna take a long, long time. The purge condition on an AQ table effectively becomes a where clause. All it really does is when you run it, it becomes a where clause against the Q table. That means it doesn't have to refer to just a message ID. As long as you can come up with a particular criteria to remove those rows, you can do it in obviously a single or small amount of passes. So as long as you can identify those messages you want to purge in a efficient mechanism, a purge shouldn't actually take too long because it is literally just a delete. The queue table is just a Oracle table with I think two indexes on it, maybe three. So it takes about the same amount of time. For example, if you wanted to simply erase the entire table, you can do a purge condition of one equals one, and that will simply do a single delete across the entire table. It'll lead 100,000 rows. If you have particular criteria, as long as it could be expressed in a where clause, then you can do it with a single delete. If you have you know, more complicated criteria, you could pass in multiple purge conditions with multiple calls, but each one getting a batch of rows. So hopefully that helps. If you wanna purge lots of rows from a queue table, the ideal is to get a where condition, which would do it in the least number of deletes possible. Um, one thing I should say is it generally makes sense if you have messages you don't want in a queue table. The reason I'm generally a fan of purging them is because the queue table is, is navigated via an index, generally I think in descending order. And over time, uh, if you put a massive amount of rows in there, those indexes can start to get a little bit stale because if you've got rows floating around in there, generally it means they've got fragment, the index got is full of little sparse holes. If it's all down one end, if it's, all, if it's all just old messages, you won't notice any problems. If it's lots of little sparse little holes, then what you have is leaf blocks scattered with poor utilization all throughout the indexes, and that can slow down your query performance when it comes to dequeuing messages.